Hey, what is up, everybody? I am your host, Rob Younts, and thank you so much for tuning back into the Kane Cash Show. If today's your first episode, we've got a good one for you. If you've been with us before, we really appreciate you coming back. Either way, today's guest is Bryson Massey. He's the head coach of the Canes American 22 grads, and we're going to talk about some of the talent on his team. So sit back, relax, and let's get after it. Hey, what's up, everybody? We're Rob Younts here with another great episode of the Kane Cash Show. Today, I have an awesome guest. Uh, he is the coach of our 2022 American team, Kane's American team, uh, Bryson Massey. Uh, coach Massey, how the heck are you today, buddy? Wonderful, man. Wonderful. Just uh, another day in uh, quarantine. Uh, yeah, I know, right? Yeah, just starting to open up a little bit more in North Carolina, aren't they? That's where you are, right? Yeah, it's, uh, you know, we've got the pools started opening up at my apartment complex this past week. Uh, restaurants are kind of opening up. So it's getting kind of back to normal, but not fully back to normal yet. So it, it's, yeah. it's close. I hear you. Well, tell, tell everybody a little bit about who you are and, you know, how, what you do with the Canes and stuff like that. And, you know, what you do outside of the Canes as well. Um, just to give them a little perspective of, of who you are. Yeah, so uh, I joined the Canes about, I'd say, five years ago. Um, mm -hmm. Started with a uh, 17U Central team, uh, coached them, coached that group through the fall, went on to a 16U group, and then last fall was uh, placed with uh, a 15U group and uh, kind of kind of been working with that group the last year and a half or so. Um Grew up in uh, Burlington, North Carolina. Went to high school at Southern Alamance High School. Um, had an injury my sophomore year in high school. Went went on, knew I wanted to coach. Went to ECU for four years. Was a student manager there under Billy Godwin. And there for about a half a year with uh, Cliff. And then went into coaching. Was assistant coach at North Pitt High School. Uh, after college for a season, went to um, – Williams High School after that for two years as head JV coach. Went to Charlotte and Kannapolis Ale Brown for two seasons as varsity assistant. And then just actually recently took a head job at Cedar Ridge um, this past October. So had about three games with them guys this year. So uh, <laughs> it was an interesting, interesting year. But um, – and then, you know, with the Canes, uh, I work as a – National, assistant national scout and then head head coach of the American 22 team. Very nice. Very nice. Very, very nice uh, pedigree and lucky to have you with us. Um, so, yeah, I didn't get much in high school this year, but, uh, you know, it looks like we're going to get a full slate of, of summer ball, you know, a little bit delayed and things like that. But tell me what you think overall about your about your American team and, and kind of the outlook for the team in general. Yeah, uh, you know, Got bumped back a little bit with uh, timing, but uh, schedule's gotten changed around a little bit. We kick off here next week in Hoover, Alabama um, at the PG Elite Championship. Uh, really like my team. Uh, got a lot of good pieces, um, a lot of quality arms. Um, a team that has, I think we have maybe six or seven – Seven recent, just good, just got to seven this week. Committed guys, so a team full of really good talent and uh, a lot of uncommitted guys. Um, you know, looking at, I think we got twelve arms um, on the team. So, I mean, it's it's a it's a good a good amount of arms, um, quality arms also. Um, some good position guys, some really big bats, some guys that have really performed well on a circuit with uh, with their bats and. Um, some uh, some new guys that are added to uh, to the team um, this this summer that I'm really looking forward to seeing some guys from out west um, in California and and some guys from Florida that I'm really looking forward to seeing that I've heard a lot of good things about. Yeah, you know, looking at your roster, you got a lot of uh, you know guys from our our core states of Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina, and uh, even got Matty Archibald up there from Maryland. The neat thing about it is you have a kid from Massachusetts and a couple of California kids. So that's a pretty, you know, the, the, always the fun thing of this is you, you know the guys that you've had before and you know the guys that have kind of been in the organization. The neat part is, is bringing those guys in from, you know, the California and 
Florida and Massachusetts and kind of all over the place and uh, and getting eyes on them because, you know, you get, as you said, you get a really, really good roster. And, you know, let's talk about the arms, for example. Let's talk about, uh, you know, what do you know about some of these guys and what can you share with everybody? And, you know, these there's, obviously the committed guys are, are mm-hmm. probably a little bit more known overall because they've been recruited. But you have a lot of really good uncommitted arms out there that uh, a lot of these college coaches should be looking at. Can you – can you give us any insight on those guys? Absolutely. So we'll we'll start at the top with uh, Trey Wheeler, left-handed pitcher out of Melbourne, Melbourne High School, Florida. Um, have have seen a lot of video on him recently. Uh, up to eighty-seven plus changeup, real athletic kid. Uh, pounds the strike zone, uh, developing breaking ball. Uh, have have heard a lot of really good things about him this summer uh, uh, or this 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 off season kind of deal up until guy. now right so, so, uh, <laughs> up until now but I, uh, I mean I've seen a lot of good videos I know he was at PG um, last week and and got a good a good write up for a performance that he had there so I'm um, really looking forward to having him um, going down down the list you got Jack Smith out of Huntington Beach California uh, you know he I've heard good things talked to him a lot lately been I mean he's going to be a, upper 80s mid 80s um, so, you know, tall, 6'4", right-handed guy, uh, I mean, looking at videos, good leverage, I mean, he, it's, it's there, um, so that's another guy, you know, getting to see the, these guys, uh, Riker, Eli Serrano, man, uh, I know you know yeah. him, so, yeah. uh, you know, I've heard really good things, he's taking another velo jump this year, so, um, you know, that guy's, uh, yeah, he's an NC State commit. He's, he's going to be good. He's yes, be right. absolutely. <laughs> two way guy at NC State. I mean, he's, uh, I'd say, legit two way. Um, Riker Sullivan, another guy from a prominent high school out in California, Orange Lutheran. Um, you know, they, they produce some pretty good, pretty good baseball players there. So interested to see him. He's going to be a mid 80s guy, works really quick, um, gets the ball and, and wants, wants to throw the next pitch. I mean, he's going to be, you know, um, so that's another guy, uh, Cameron Burgess, ECU commit, another guy that I think has a chance to two way. Um, you know, uh, saw him throw last week against our National American group in Fayetteville. Uh, really good pounds his own with his fastball, uh, you know, mid 80s fastball. Uh, Caleb Crane, guy that's going to run it up 80, 86, 87 from the left side, big athletic kid. Um, I mean, his breaking ball is it, it's it's close to close to plus when when he when he's in the zone, uh, but the the fastball jumps, man, it, it jumps out of his hand. Um, Matt Archibald, Matt Matty's a Matt, Matty's a, a a one that you need to get out and see. That's that's why I tell everybody uh, he he's a competitor. Uh, you know, his fastball's been. I talked to him yesterday. He's he's been working hard. Uh, fastball's in his mid to upper eighties. But that that breaking ball is that thing uh, is dirty. I had him down in Florida, and he he beat a really good good team down there in Florida. With and, uh, and all you could hear from the guys was I, I can't hit it, and they knew it was coming. Uh, Wagner Morissetti, recent uh, Maryland commit, uh, has been up to eighty nine. Very athletic kid, arm action very loose. Um, it's another guy that just I mean it's it's gonna jump. Uh, Evan Blanco, UVA commit, uh, left-handed arm, upper 80s fastball. It's it's clean and it's loose. I mean, it's it's effortless when it comes out. Um, Aubrey Smith, been up to 90 recently at a uh, at a showcase. Going to be 87, 88. Good slider, um, six two frame. Uh, you know, another guy that that has a lot a lot of talk. And then you go Drew Lanfear. I know I know you know about Drew. Um, he's gonna, you know, Drew's gonna play everywhere. He's gonna get on the mound. He's a, he's a competitor and he's gonna go right at you. Um, and then lastly is uh, Ryder Douglas, huge kid, six five, uh, two forty. Uh, I mean, I watched him this past weekend, and uh, it, it's it's another guy that I mean he he's gonna fill his zone up and and gonna. Gonna come right at you. Yeah, absolutely, man. That's and that's a nice staff, man. 
you know, the, the neat thing about this age too is, is having been around it for a time is you're going to get a lot of velo jumps. You know, you got a lot of mid eighties arms and yes. you're going to get guys, you know, as they start figuring it out a little bit or filling out, mm -hmm. um, you know, are going to start, you know, touching nineties, bumping ones and twos and stuff like that. So, you know, it's interesting, Absolutely. you know, to have that staff like you have and have that versatility and, you know, the secondary stuff and the ability to throw strikes and command the zone is a lot of fun, but, you know, seeing a kid's face when next thing you know, he's, you know, like a, like a Jarvis, uh, exactly. a Jarvis, you know, he was 85, 87. And then, you know, I got him at 17 and he's 91, 94. I really, and I, just like, holy yeah. cow. I really <laughs> think we have a dude and, and, uh, me and Damon have talked, uh, really think the Wagner Morissetti dude, his, it, it's a really good comp to, uh, Jarvis and I, and I, yeah. and, and we talked about it. I mean, it's, it, it reminds me a lot of him. Um, and and uh, Justin was interesting because, you know, he really came from one of our regional teams, started, yeah. you know, started, you know, he's still, I don't even know if he's even filled out yet because he's, you know, 6'5 and probably like 170 at the most. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, the, the, his spin rate, and, you know, allowed him to pitch up in the zone and, and get more life. You know, he wasn't a, an east-west guy. He was a north-south guy. And it, he, he literally just popped up. I mean, he obviously worked Absolutely hard behind the did. scenes. And I think that's one of the things that your guys need to understand is, you know, keep working your, your tail off. And next thing you know, you could be a pop-up guy. And look, you know, the neat thing is draft just happened. And a lot of yes. those guys that, you know, top seven or eight guys weren't seven. really that – weren't really that highly recruited out of no, absolutely. high school. So, you know, neat thing is, is these guys could, could pop up under some radar screens. And, man, you, so the arms are great, man. Sounds, sounds awesome. You know, yeah. uh, I, you know, I know I do know Drew, you know, pretty well. I know, you know, Matty Archibald. I coached his older brother. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Ryan was a, was a hitter and a pitcher for us and played on our uh, 17 American team. American team. So, yeah, great people. You know, it sounds like you got a really good, uh, really a lot of talent on the bump. What about behind the plate, the guys that are catching these guys? Uh, what do you got there? Um, I got uh, Brad Gregory, UNC commit. Um, you know, left-handed stick. Um, has put a lot of work in, uh, you know, this this off season. Uh, have seen it. I've seen him catch a, a few guys lately. Um, you know, electric. I mean, his arm is – He's got a, he's got an arm back there. I mean, it's 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 a special arm. Um, you know, he works very well with our with our with our pitchers and our staff. Um, got a new guy coming in, Aiden Strange, uh, out of East Rutherford. Um, really good, cl real close with his high school coaches. Um, I've heard really good things about him. The bat is is special, um, and. Uh, they they say he really handles handles the staff really well. Um, ultimate competitor, he said. You know, the coaches have told me uh, he's the guy that you want up in that big spot when when it's uh, it's, it's that seventh inning and you need the hit. So uh, he's he's one of those guys. So I'm really looking forward to seeing him. You know, I've had I've had Brad Gregory for a year and a half now. So I've seen him really really grow um, from when he, he he first joined us and. Uh, you know, he, he, he got a chance to go down with our national team uh, in Florida and, um, you know, really played well there and ended up committing the uh, UNC. So um, he's a he's a special talent. Yeah, absolutely. Well, that's that sounds good behind the dish, man. I mean, that's that's pretty darn solid. Uh, let's go to the let's go to the infield. How uh, what are you looking at at first base? And let's kind of move our way around as we go from there. Yeah, so infield's going to be I mean, I, I tell all my pitchers, uh, you got a pretty pretty good group behind you. So uh, pitch to contact because you got some guys that are really going to pick it up the middle and, and play really good defense. I mean, you're looking at uh, ECU, uh, Cameron Burgess over at third base. You know, that's that kid right there is he, – he's been in our system for a while. And, you know, I he's, uh, he's one that I, I really uh, am high on. Um, mm -hmm. Then you have um, – Drew Lamphere that's going to roll over there also. Um, you know, the kid kid's going to hit. I mean, very very polished polished kids. Played on the scene for a while. Played in some big games. Up the middle, you got Dixon Williams, ECU commit. Connor Rasmussen, ECU commit. Aiden McDonald and Blaine Simonich. All those guys are going to are, are elite infielders. I mean, they're 
arms are strong, you know, are, are athletic, um, soft hands. I mean, it's it's fun to watch those guys at the middle work. Um, Blaine Simnich uncommitted, Aiden McDonald uncommitted. You know, I've heard really good things. Haven't had a chance to see Aiden McDonald yet, but I've I've talked to a lot of people and heard. You know, he definitely has that that arm to play shortstop. Um, Blaine Simnich is a is a vacuum man, and that that kid just he's one of those guys up the middle that you know you want that are going to dive after everything. And he uh, all the pitchers love when he's back there because they know that it's it's an out if they get it, if they hit it to him. Uh, Connor Rasmussen. Uh, ECU got got a good one there. Uh, you know, he's he's another guy that he's his hands are are unbelievable and uh, and an athletic guy up the middle. Um, first base, you're gonna have uh, you're gonna have a, a a few guys. I mean, Burgess is gonna play over there some. Uh, Ryder Douglas is gonna get over there. Um, Eli Serrano will play there. Um, and, and Caleb Crane might go over there some also. So, so got a lot of options at, in the infield um, this summer. Um, so, a lot of competition, you can say, and uh, some some really good talent uh, on yeah. that on that dirt. I mean, yeah, holy cow, man! If I'm a pitcher on your squad, I'm I'm pretty dang on half. <laughs> I, I I get the ball and take a nice deep breath and yeah, and exactly. Get after it because uh, those guys are those guys are pretty dang on good, you know. That, that talent you got there in the infield is going to be great. And, you know, it sounds like you have some flexibility there where you can move guys around. You know, that's um, just going to help them as they get into college. I mean, I know, you know, guys think, hey, I'm a shortstop. That's yes. cool. When you show up on <laughs> campus, there's eight to ten different shortstops possible. Exactly. So, exactly. you know, being able to have positional flexibility and, and knowing that you can – you know, knowing that you can go and compete at shortstop, but, you know, or second or third or left or right or whatever the case may be, you know, is huge. And, and obviously you just want to stay in the lineup any way you can. So, you know, the great thing, you know, for them is that you're going to have, you're going to be able to, to work with them on that. Great thing for you is you have some of this flexibility in right in the lineup, you know, you start going with a hot hand or something like that. Yes. You know, it doesn't sound like he's locked into one that hot hand, probably not locked into one position. You can have a lot yeah. of different pieces there. So it's going to make the lineup a lot of fun and probably a challenge to to write yeah. out because as you you know as guys are you get ten hot hands eight hot hands exactly. it's going to be tough man it's going to be tough going that lineup up. especially with it all is. that talent man that's that's really cool um, so what about the outfield what about those those rabbits out there that you have to go out and, and get it every now and then what do you got in the yeah absolutely the um, you know got got a bunch of guys that that I'm I'm really happy to see the Kyle Neary kid out of New Jersey St Augustine Prep. Um, really, really happy to see him. Uh, physical guy, a right-handed hitter, runs a six-nine. Uh, really, really got got some has some pull to, pull side power. Um, so you know, looking forward to seeing him. Ha haven't got a chance to see him yet, but have heard really good things. Uh, Blaine Simonich will go out there and play some also. Um, he'll he'll get out there. Um, and uh, then we go down Bryce Blazer, a uh, California kid. Uh, he actually uh, sent me some video last night of him uh, taking some uh, live VP uh, against uh, Michael Lorenzen. Uh, that was that was kind of cool. That a guy can yeah. throw some throw some heat. Uh, but he uh, he's another guy that's going to go out there. He's going to go get it. Played with our national team a, a little bit last year. Um, Eli Serrano is going to be in the corners. Um, that, I mean, hard to take that guy out of the lineup. He just hits, man. Um, uh, Riker Sullivan, another guy, you know, two-way two guy that's going to pitch and play some outfield. Uh, haven't seen him yet, but, you know, he's coming from a good good high school. Uh, Caleb Crane will go out there, you know, physical physical kid that can run, play center field for his high school, uh, 6'2", you know, left-handed bat that can really – can really – Really uh, hit hit the ball. I mean, he he hit quite a few home runs last year. A gap to gap guy. Um, and then, you know, I, I think that's that's about it. So we're, we're gonna have some yeah, options for some guys for yeah. some, for some options. Some guys that can maybe roll out there. Like you said, I mean, I, I tell these guys is you know learn to play as many positions as you can because when you get to high, uh, to to college, I mean, the bat plays. They're gonna find you somewhere to play, so might as well get get used to 
trying to find some other spots on the field um, and, and learning them. Yeah, absolutely. You know, infield guys, if you have the flexibility to go to the outfield, you know, I'd suggest doing it to try to stay in the lineup. Um, you know, it, it's it's important when you get to college because you'll find that, you know, you may be behind a junior All-American. Absolutely. Um, your, your, your chance to get on the field early. And I think Austin Martin did this at, uh, at, at Vanderbilt. Yeah, I saw that last you know, night, man. He played at, everywhere. <laughs> played everywhere just to get on the field, man. And, and exactly. it's super important to do that. Gosh, it sounds like you guys are loaded. Um, it's good keeping up the tradition of the American team of being a high quality team. You know, with all this flexibility, yeah, right. Uh, with all that flexibility, you know, what what kind of style are, are you going to be playing? You know, offensively. Um, you know, are you guys a uh, you know, sit back and bang a guy? Are you guys going to run? You know, what? I mean, it seems like you got a little bit of both. So, you know, you're, you're pulling the strings on the yeah. offense. What you got? Man? <laughs> yeah, um, I mean, everybody knows that that's going to listen to this podcast. They're going to say, "Oh, well, I know how how Massey run, runs his uh, his game." So. You know, I'm not a guy I get I get kind of anxious when I'm over there in that third base box. I, I don't like sitting there watching and waiting, man. I, I like putting a lot of pressure on these defenses, and uh, we like to run. I mean, I, 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 I've i coached the last two weekends. I've, ha I've been fortunate to coach a lot of these, these teams and these, these regional guys and these training weekends, and uh, some of them, you know, I'm playing with, and they're like, Coach, I don't, I don't steal bases. I'm like, well, you are this weekend. Like, <laughs> this weekend. I, I can, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you. Like, I've had I've had a few guys there, like first baseman. And they're like, Coach, no, I don't run. I said, Well, let me let me teach you how you're gonna run, <laughs> and you're gonna steal That's this right. bag. So That's it's right. uh, you know, I, it's it's funny playing against uh, some of these uh, some of these guys that know me, and they're like, Oh boy, here we go. Better get the here catchers ready. <laughs> right. Better be ready right. to control the run game. But no, I mean, we're gonna we're gonna. No, I'm gonna let those big big boppers hit, um, but I'm also gonna put a lot of pressure on some people um, and, and put some put some people in situations that they're not used to. Because in summer ball, you know, a lot of teams aren't used to those situations and don't know how to act and haven't really practiced. You know, obviously we we go through it, but some people don't go through it and uh, they don't know how to go through some first and thirds and and stuff like that. So you put some pressure on some guys and 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 make some things happen sometimes. Right, absolutely, I agree. Um, that's you know, that's how we run it, and I know every time yeah. you know we come up against one of your teams, you know, same thing. We got to be ready to yeah. play, you know, play all seven and and play them hard. So uh, absolutely, you know, looking forward to your schedule, looking forward to seeing your players. You know, the the neat thing at, at this sixteen age, as you know, is you know going through the overall process as far as recruiting absolutely. goes. And sounds like uh, you know when things do open up, you're going to have a lot of eyeballs on your guys, and and that's always fun. Um, you know, it, and it's a challenge too. You know, from the coaching side, when you have a lot of, you know, guys in polos and you know out there with radar guns and their school colors on, you know, it's a lot of times the kids get caught up in, in looking at who's at the game and yes. who's watching and who's not. You know, so it's a challenge on the on the coaching side to keep them focused and keep them keep them dialed in. But it sounds like, you know, you've got so many you know good guys there that uh, you know good players that uh, you know you. You're gonna have a lot of people out there, yeah. but they also know, you know, they also know, hey, I gotta get my job done. I gotta, you know, I gotta Absolutely. get after this game. Who's helping you out this year as far as coaching? I and and honestly, I, I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, who's helping no, you. Uh, you know, I, I'm I'm fortunate. I, I got Sammy Serrano that's gonna be with me this summer, right. so uh, he's he's gonna join me this summer. I I told him, I said, man, I said, I, I'm I'm lucky, dude. I said. You, I got I got a dude in the dugout, man. I, right. I said I'm gonna learn. I'm gonna sit back and learn from you. Um, yes. So uh, I, I I was really excited about getting him in the dugout this summer. Um, you know, just he, he's been around it. I mean, you know, played pro ball, coach coached at UNCG. I mean, coach USA. I mean, he's been around it all. Got a lot of lot of knowledge to pass on to these kids. And and in our organization, I think we do a great job of putting coaches and and uh, and good coaches in the dugout to, to give as much knowledge as we can to these kids because, you know, obviously that's what we're here for. So um, I, I'm really excited about having him. Yeah, he, Sammy's Sammy's awesome. I totally forgot he was even helping me out. That's not a slight <laughs> yeah. on Sammy. That's just me no. getting old and, and having, a, having a bad memory. But, yeah, man, he's, he's great. You know, we talk hitting all the time. Um, Absolutely. You know, with, with blast motion and stuff like that. And, you know, he's absolutely awesome. It'll be – you guys have a great staff there with you, too. And, you know, you mentioned a great point that, you know, a lot of teams, um, 
that we face aren't really focusing on helping the kids get better, you know, and, 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 and I think the general mindset is, is that, oh, this kid's committed, he doesn't need any coaching. Yeah. But the reality is that the kid's 16 years old. Exactly. He development. <laughs> he needs to be pushed every day. He needs, you know, whether he's, you know, worked with the same hitting guy, maybe he needs to hear something different. Maybe, yeah. you know, you're helping them with a different grip on a, on a breaking ball or a change up or something mm -hmm. like that. And, you know, or even just the mental side of, of having a confidence to throw the change up in a 2-0 spot or a 2-1 spot. Absolutely. Um, you know, so the the great part is with having you two in the dugout is they, you know, the kids will definitely get that. They'll be challenged. They'll they'll get the work in, and um, you know, you guys will will go out there and, and win some games. And that's the other part too is teaching them how to win. You know, absolutely, because, man. Because I, in, in showcase ball, they don't get that really. It, yeah, it's really I just mean, hey, let's let's throw guys out and let's we're okay with it. Just go ahead. You know, no, it, it is I, it's teaching guys to get after it. I, I tell I, – I mean, ever since I've been in the Canes organization, I tell all the kids. I mean, you you know, the last couple weekends, I mean, some of the kids – it hasn't been the your teams, but we've been playing other teams, and it's the same deal. I mean, everybody wants to beat the Canes, and that's, and that's good. I mean, you know, I've listened to some of your other podcasts about these, these, these guys that are playing pro ball or, or done really well, and, uh, you know, they talk about learning how to win. And, uh, you know, a lot of these college coaches, I, I mean, that's one thing they ask. That they, want, they want guys that can win. I mean, that are going to go out there and, and know what, what it takes to win a ball game or win a big game in, 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 in the uh, WWBA or, or World Series or, or whatever, whatever big tournament we're playing in. Learning how to win is also another thing that I think we, we really pride ourselves on in this organization is, is teaching these kids how to – how to win some big games and, and compete because every time you step on the field against anybody, you're you're getting everybody's best bet. I mean, you're yeah. you're you're getting everybody's dude, and that, and that's what I tell everybody. You're you're not getting their their guy that that might be their fifth or sixth. You're getting their guy that they saved for you, and uh, you got to learn how to beat that guy. Like and right. uh, and that and that's the fun thing. I mean, it, it's fun for these guys because they like competing. I'm. I'm a guy that com loves competing. So, um, you know, you got to teach these guys uh, how to do that also. Yeah, absolutely. And I tell our kids that all the time. I've, you know, especially being a hitter in our organization, you know, whether you're on a region, you know, your regional team or even up on that, you know, all the way national team, all the way yeah, across the state. Absolutely. Regardless of, of what team you're on, when that pool comes out, the, uh, the game with the Canes is circled and that's where they put their, their dude. And that's great. You know, yeah. as a hitter, that's what you want. You want to get all of those reps before you get to college. You want to have Absolutely. all those those ABs against top arms. You know, whether that's a guy throwing ninety or their best guy's throwing eighty two, whatever. You don't you don't want to be facing the slop seventy one no. guy. Um, yeah. And that's one of the big advantages to playing with us is that that you'll get everybody's due, and you've got yeah. to, as you said, you've got to figure out a way to beat him every single time. And, it's important for hitters to realize that. Um, and you know what? The, and, and on the opposite side of that, the pitchers, you know, everybody gets jazzed up to play. You, you know, the hitters are thinking, hitters on the other team saying, hey, man, I can make yeah. a hit for myself today, <laughs> exactly. right? Exactly. So, you know, we are, are, are on the other side of the ball. We've got to be just as good, if not better, and ready to get after it. Man, it sounds like you guys are loaded, and I'm excited. I, um, you know, We've been uh, – the American team was something I was a part of, you know, yeah. at the 17-year level and, and super excited, always excited to see that roster because it always has some dudes in there, you know, that, um, you know, that, that, that people just may not have been as aware of. You know, we're aware of it inside of our program <laughs> because yeah. there's a lot of talent there. I think you had, what, eight guys that are committed? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Seven. Eight. eight. Yeah, eight. Seven, eight, 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 seven, eight guys that are committed to Power Fives. You know, ECU, a phenomenal program. I mean, we've got some some absolute dudes on this program, and I'm sure at the end of the summer, there's probably gonna be eight or nine more guys that are committed. Exactly. That's the beautiful thing about the 16U man is that all all these coaches that it's are fun. eventually gonna be able to show yeah. up, right? It, it is. It's yeah, super fun. exactly. You know, and, and it's, and it's great to get that. Great to get that call from your player too to say, "Hey, guess what? I just committed to so and so." You know, yes, it's, it's, that's that's it's the fun part fun. of of this. Um, 
I, and I really, uh, I, I'm excited to, to see how you guys grow and how you guys compete. Um, you know, we'll definitely be rooting for you, be following you on Game Changer, all that good stuff. Appreciate Even it. When I'm, you know, 14s in the middle of nowhere, maybe we're in Uber yeah. and you guys are, or wherever the heck you are, man. Yeah. Um, but yeah, excited to have you at the helm this year. You know, you've done a great job since you've been with the Canes, um, you know, and you've earned the opportunities that you've gotten. And, you know, I'm excited to hear uh, hear the success of your team, man. And we'll, what we'll do is we'll we'll have some catch up episodes here and there, okay? Because as as these guys get you know get their legs under them and get throwing more, you know, in a competitive yeah, environment, exactly. You, know, you are you are going to have guys that make jumps or guys that get committed or whatever. So what we'll do is um, we'll have follow up episodes just to make sure okay. that we're getting the word out about your kids because it's super important. That's really the the goal of this cane cast is really to be able to help promote our kids. Um, you know, obviously having the guys on uh, the, the pro guys that you referenced before mm -hmm. and, and, and older players, you know, I think that's important because I think our kids need to know where all of this came from. It wasn't just, they, hey, Evo Shield exactly. decided to sponsor us and all of a sudden we became, I mean, they, yeah, back when they were the orange and green, <laughs> back when the orange and green canes, man, we had yeah. some dudes. So, yeah, exactly. You know, I, and I want, I want our kids to know that there is a legacy, that there is something behind what we do and how they're contributing to it. Because as, you know, five, six, seven, eight, ten years down the road, I want some of your kids to go or come back and say, yeah, I was, yeah. I was on 16 American with Coach Massey, and then I was a yeah. third-round draft pick. And, you know, that, that exactly. to me is the fun part of this, man. And, yeah. you know, as you, as you spend a lot more time in this, in this, in our organization, you know, you've yeah. been here a while, but, you know, you get 10, 15 years into it, and you're like, whoa, we really had some dudes, and you were able yeah. to – to have those relationships. And it sounds like you have the basis of that now. So I'm, I'm super yeah. pumped for it. It's, it, it's fun. Um, yeah, yeah, man. But I'm, I'm looking forward to it. And, uh, you know, if I, if I can say one thing, uh, you know, over these last two weeks, just to give some, you know, some of these guys that might listen on here, uh, get out there, get out there in the hot heat. Um, those last two weekends, you know, get out there, throw your bullpens in the hot heat. You know, a lot of these guys have, have spent these last couple months uh, throwing bullpens and, and been able to get in, indoors. But uh, it's summertime, and, and uh, to get your bodies ramped up for, for the summer heat, get out there and throw um, hitters. Get out there and see some live ABs if you just stand in on some bullpens. Um, if, if I can just give any advice the last couple weeks is what I've told the guys. Um, but it's, it's going to be a really fun summer for the Canes organization. Um, and I'm really looking forward to to coaching this American team, man. Yeah, man, awesome. Well, it's been great having you, Bryson. You're you're awesome, dude. I uh, always appreciate seeing you at the field, and uh, really look forward, to hoping to be able to catch up on some of your games. Absolutely. Uh, in in person, I don't know if 14 and 16 <laughs> or ever even, even anywhere yeah, near know, the same man. state at the same <laughs> time. Know. But if if we are, man, I can't wait to sit outside your dugout here, guys, and uh, and and watch you guys win some ball games because you got a lot of talent, you got a great staff. And uh, hopefully you guys are going to crush it this year. Best of luck. Um, like I said, we'll catch up. I'll send you a text. Um, if you've got any dudes that, you know, pop up or start getting some helium to them, you know, obviously we'll talk and, and yeah. get you back on here, man. But really appreciate you going through your roster, man. You know, you've got it. Looks like you got it dialed in. And, uh, man, just ready for you guys to go out there and crush it this year. Absolutely, man. I really appreciate you having me on. And I look forward hey. to seeing you around this summer, man. All right, buddy. Take care. I'll talk to you All soon. All right, man. Take care. Thanks a lot. Bye. Wow, thank you so much for joining us today. Big shout out to Coach Massey for being with us. Give him a follow on social media at Bryson underscore Massey 11. We need your help in growing the show. How can you do that? Well, there's several ways. First and foremost, give us a like. Smash that like button. Whether you're watching on YouTube or listening on your favorite podcast host, give us a like. Two, drop us a comment to let us know what you like about our show, or even what you don't like. We're big boys. We can handle it. Three, grow our community by subscribing. This lets others know that this show is legit. Four, show us some love with a review. Tell us what you think in your own words. Five, share it. Simply send this episode to friends and enemies who are missing baseball right now. Give us a follow on social media at Canecast Show. You can reach out to me on all social channels at Rob Younts or email me at robyounce at gmail.com. I welcome your feedback as I'm trying to improve the show every single at bat. So until the next time, stay safe, 
wash your hands, and travel safely as these baseball tourneys are firing back up.